is I, your Supreme Overlord, Baby Vanilla. Today we're going to mix it up a little bit. Normally I stay away from the top 5 trope on YouTube, but many of you have asked for my various top lists from Mecca to Gundam to just about everything. So I present to you the top 5 most underutilized and squander potential Gundam characters. I'll be showing you 5 Gundam characters who I think deserve more in their respective series. If you have a character you think that should have gotten more attention or should have just been done completely differently, leave a comment down below. Oops, almost forgot. This video has spoilers, so you have been warned. So, first up in a personal favorite of mine, many of you, I'm sure, saw this one coming, Garma Zabi. For those who don't know, Garma Zabi is the youngest son of Degwin Zabi, the leader of the Principality of Zia. He was favored by his father and clearly got his looks from his deceased mother. In Mobile Suit Gundam, Garma leads Zia's Earth Attack Force and with his best friend Char at his side, he goes after White Face. After a whole six episodes, he dies. Mind you, there are 43 episodes in Mobile Suit Gundam. I understand his death is important in the grand scheme of things. But I would have at least loved to have seen him live up to the Battle of Jaburo. I mean, for crying out loud, he has his own personal Zaku that he never used in the show. Now, I'll give him credit, it takes big balls to use a Dop to try and take out a Gundam. It would have been neat to see his Zaku go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Gundam in Jaburo. Just imagine if he somehow survived the One Year War and took his talents to Axis to raise up Neo Zeon. However, I can't say us Garma fans got slight redemption in Iron Blooded Orphans with Gylio. Gylio was basically Garma if he went full revenge mode on Char. If you watch IBO for anything, watch it for Gylio. He's worth it. Speaking of Iron Blooded Orphans, let's take another squander potential character by the name of Karta Ishu. No! I know many of you will say that her being killed was justified through the fact of her annoyance, but let's be honest. As much as I laughed every time she said Outer Earth Orbit Regulatory Joint Fleet, I can see why people would find her annoying. However, we have to look at the bigger picture here. Again, granted, it's convenient storytelling for Karta to be her untimely end, much like Garma, she only lasts six episodes. Had Karta not died of her injuries to Mikazuki, it would have given what the series really needed, a rival for Mikazuki. Season 2's Julieta Juris is a fine addition, but much like Mikazuki, she's bland and stoic. Man has only one look for Christ's sake! They're the same face! Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! If it was Karta taking her place as the one to kill Mikazuki, it would have been much more impactful to see someone finally overcome a rivalry that's been stemming since the middle of Season 1. Now, I could do an entire video about everything wrong with IBO and 85% of it would involve Mikazuki. But moving on from the post-disaster era, we need to go to a disaster of a series, Gundam Seed and Seed Destiny. Now don't let my bias sway you in any way because despite all of its flaws in both Seed and Seed Destiny, I still love the music and the mobile suit designs. It's just the characters are all absolutely dreadful. One in particular would be Athrid Zala, Kira's supposed rival and halfway antagonist in the series. My problem with Atherin, despite piloting some cool mobile suits, he waffles between Zaft and being a part of Lacus's simp brigade. He never truly embraces the villain role. I would have loved to see him be a Zaft zealot, but instead he becomes pussy whipped by one of the worst females in Gundam history, Kagali. As if that wasn't bad enough, Athrin goes full Quattro Bagina and adopts an equally as ridiculous of a name of Alex Dino. <laughs> if anything, Athrin should have died a glorious Zaf death in Gundam Seed against Kira. Instead, we get a flip-flopping character with squander potential written all over him. But wait! There's more! Going back to the Universal Century, particularly Mobile Suit Gundam, we have Kai Shige arguably one of the best characters among White Base, and has the most character development next to Amaro. Kai is my favorite among the White Base crew. He alone made me appreciate the gun cannon, and he even awakens as a new type by the end of the One Year War. But rather than continuing with a career in the military, he goes on to be a journalist. I mean, sure, that's cool, but the kid could pilot, and if he continued piloting as an adult, it would have been great to see him and Bright together in the Federation, or, by some weird twist of fate, 
Kai becomes a Titan and eventually joins the AU like Emma. Either way, anything seems to be better than a couple of Zedekon episodes as a freelance journalist, with your one shiny moment having a broken English note passed along to a husky Hayato. Hmm? <coughs> Finally, number 5 of Gundam characters with squander potential, Jared Mesa. What the f- Now this one might be polarizing, but hear me out. A lot of people don't consider Jared as a true rival of Camille, not only because he is seen more as a nuisance with his constant appearances, but because he was so easily dispatched by Camille in their final battle. Personally, I do not see an issue with Jared's appearances throughout the series. We witness him transform from a cocky, arrogant pilot to a confident pilot just emerging with his new type abilities. Imagine if he survived his duel with Camille, went on to recover from his wounds, and ended up being in the Battle of Torrington in Unicorn Gundam. It would have been so awesome to see, considering such an epic clash between Remnant Zeon forces and the Federation lacked a lot of cockpit cut-ins. But instead we get a guy who, no matter what he does, gets pumped by a boy with a girl's name. <laughs> Anywho comrades, that's the video. Be sure to comment down below if any characters you think have squandered their potential. There's a whole lot more that I could get into, but I can only do so much in a video. Also, if you like these top 5 videos, let me know what else you'd like to see. Please give the video a like, and if you want to see more of me, all you have to do is subscribe. Take care comrades. Bye! Congratulations, you made it to the end. The cringe is over. Unless you want more. Do it. Click those videos in the box. Do it! Do it!